study on WT32 Bluetooth audio module. Welcome to the training module on the WT32 Blue Giga audio module. In this training, we will review the key features, block diagrams, and some interfaces that can be done with this radio module. The WT32 is the latest generation of Blue Giga's Bluetooth modules. It provides the highest level of integration with an integrated 2.4 GHz radio, DSP, battery charger, stereo codec, and antenna ready to hit mono and stereo audio applications. The WT32 is also completely ready to support the latest Bluetooth 2.1 standard. The embedded DSP core allows enhancement of the product with features such as advanced audio decoding, echo cancellation, noise reduction, and data manipulation. The WT32 combined with Blue Giga's flexible iWrap firmware enables device manufacturers to easily add wireless, secure, and standard-based Bluetooth connectivity into new or existing applications with minimum development and manufacturing effort. These are some of the applications for the WT32 device. They include high-quality stereo headsets, high-quality mono headsets, hands-free car kits, wireless speakers, voice over IP handsets, MP3 players, USB multimedia dongles, just to mention a few. This is the block diagram of the WT32 device. It provides a fully compliant Bluetooth system to V2.0 plus EDR of the S specification for data and voice. Blue Core 05MM contains the Kalimba DSP code processor with double the MIPS of Blue Core 03MM, supporting enhanced audio applications. Blue Core 05MM integrates a 16 bit stereo codec and it has a fully differential audio interface with a low noise microphone bias. The crystal oscillates at 26 MHz. Flash memory is used for storing the Bluetooth protocol stack and virtual machine applications. The WT32 uses ceramic chip antennas with high dielectric constant, which makes the antenna very insensitive to surrounding environment. The WT32 device has an operating frequency range of 2402 to 2480 MHz, a plus 7 dBm of enhanced data rate, and a minus 88 dBm receiving sensitivity. The device also contains an internal battery charger and a switch mode regulator that is mainly used for internal blocks of the module. The module can be powered from a single 3.3 volt supply provided that VDD charge is floating. Alternatively, the module can be powered from a battery connected to VDD battery and using an external regulator for VDD I.O. 1.8 volt to 3.3 volt supply voltage for VDD I.O. can be used to give desired signal levels for the digital interfaces of the module. USB requires a 3.3 volt for proper operation. The WT32 Universal Asynchronous Receiver Transmit or UART interface provides a simple mechanism for communicating with other serial devices using the RS-232 standard. The UART interface of WT32 uses voltage levels from 0 to VDDIO and thus an external transceiver IC is required to meet the voltage level specifications of RS-232. Four signals are used to implement the UART function. When WT32 is connected to another digital device, URRX and URTX transfer data between the two devices. The remaining two signals, URCTS and URRTS, can be used to implement RS-232 hardware flow control, where both are active low indicators. DTR DSR and DCD signals can be implemented by using PIO terminals of WT32. The WT32 USB devices contain a full-speed USB interface that is capable of directly driving a USB cable. Thus, no external USB transceiver is needed. To match the connection to the characteristic impedance of the USB cable, series resistors must be included to both of the signal lines. The device operates as a USB peripheral responding to requests from a master host controller such as a PC. 
Both the OHCI and UHCI standards are supported. Self-powered USB designs must ensure that the PIO line is allocated for USB pull-up purposes. In bus-powered mode, the application circuit draws its current from the 5-volt V-bus supply on the USB cable. The audio interface circuit consists of stereo audio codec, dual audio inputs and outputs, a configurable PCM, I squared S or SB diff interface. The codec supports stereo playback and recording of audio signals at multiple sample rates with a resolution of 16 bits. The A to D and D to A converters of the codec each contain two independent channels. Any A to D or D to A channel can be run at its own independent sample rate. The interface for the digital audio bus shares the same pins as the PCM codec interface. The ADD consists of two second order sigma delta converters allowing two separate channels that are identical in functionality. The ADD contains two gain stages for each channel, an analog and digital gain stage. The digital gain stage has a programmable selective value in the range of 0 to 15 with the associated ADD gain. There is also a high resolution digital gain mode that allows the gain to be changed in 1 30 seconds dB steps. This slide provides some information about the DAC features and IEC 60958 interface. It is based on the two industry standards AES or EBU and the Sony and Philips interface specification or SPDIF. The SPDIF interface signals are SPDIF in and SPDIF out and are shared on the PCM interface pins. The input, inputs and output stages of the SPDIF pins can interface with a 75M coax cable with an RCA connector, or there is an option to use an optical link that uses TOSLINK optical components. The DAC contains two gain stages for each channel, a digital and an analog gain stage. The digital gain stage has a programmable selection value in the range of 0 to 15 with associated DAC gain settings. The audio input is intended for use from a 1 microamp at 94 dB SPO to about 10 microamps and 94 dB SPL. The bias and resistors R1 and R2 equal to 1K ohm. This requires microphones with sensitivity between about minus 40 dBV and minus 60 dBV. The mic bias is like any voltage regulator and requires a minimum load to maintain regulation. The mic bias will maintain regulation with the limits of 0.2 to 1.53 milliamps depending on the bias current setting. This means that if a microphone that sits below these limits is used, the microphone output must be preloaded with a large value resistor. In line input mode, the first stage of the amplifier is automatically disabled, providing additional power savings. In line input mode, the input impedance varies from 6K ohms to 30K ohm, depending on the volume setting. The top two drawings are the line input operation, and show connections for either differential or single-ended inputs. The output digital circuitry converts the single from 16-bit per sample linear PCM or variable sampling frequency to a 2 megabit per second 5-bit multi-bit stream which is fed into the analog output circuitry. The output circuit is comprised of a digital to analog converter with gain setting and an output amplifier. Its class AB output stage is capable of driving a signal on both channels of up to 2 volts peak to peak differential into a load of 16 ohms. The output is available as a differential signal between audio out N left and audio out P left for the left channel. Pulse code modulation is a standard method used to digitize audio patterns for transmission over digital communication channels. Through its PCM interface, the device has hardware support for continual transmission and reception of PCM data, thus reducing processor overhead for wireless headset applications. The device offers a bi-directional digital audio interface that routes directly into the baseband layer of the on-chip firmware. It does that pass through the HCI protocol layer. The device can operate as a PCM interface master, generating an output clock of 128, 256, or 512 kilohertz. 
when configured as PCM interface slave, it can operate with an input clock up to 2048 kHz. The device is compatible with a variety of clock formats, including long frame sync, short frame sync, and GCI timing environments. The device supports 13 or 16 bit linear, 8 bit, or a law compatible sample format at 8K samples per second. The WT32 is supplied with Bluetooth V2.0 plus EDR compliant stack firmware which runs on the internal RISC microcontroller. The device's software architecture allows Bluetooth processing and the application program to be shared in different ways between the internal RISC microcontroller and an external host processor. The upper layers of the Bluetooth stack above HCI can be run either on chip or on the host processor. The host processor interfaces to IRAP software through one or more of the physical interfaces. The most common interfacing is done through the UART interface using the ASCII commands supported by IRAP software. The user may write application code to run on the host processor to control IRAP software by using ASCII commands and to develop Bluetooth powered devices. Enhanced data rate has been introduced to provide two times and optionally three times the data rates with minimal disruption to higher layers of the Bluetooth stack. CSR supports both of the two data rates. At the baseband level, EDR uses the same 1.6 kHz slot rate as the basic data rates and therefore the packets can be 1, 3 or 5 slots long as per the basic data rate. Where EDR differs from the basic data rate is that in the same 1 MHz symbol rate, 2 or 3 bits are used per symbol compared to 1 bit per symbol used by the basic data rate. 